This tutorial will provide you with a brief orientation to the PubMed database. You should always access PubMed through the Gleason Library's website. From the home page, you can hover over Search, click on Databases, click on P, and then scroll down to PubMed. Accessing PubMed through the library's website is important because it will make it easier for you to access the full text of articles from journals that USF subscribes to. This is the PubMed homepage. There are a few different ways to search PubMed. During this tutorial, we'll look for articles that address discharge planning after cardiac surgery. We'll do a simple keyword search by entering the terms discharge planning and the term cardiac surgery. The results screen displays the total number of results, as well as the article's titles, authors, publication information, PubMed ID number, and a preview of the article's abstract. Along the left side of the page, you'll see a graph that is a visual representation of search results by year. You can use the slider just below the graph to limit your search results to a specific data range. Let's limit our results to articles published between 2014 and the present. Some filters are displayed on the search results page, but if you select additional filters, you also have the option of limiting by article type, species, language, sex, subject, journal, and age. Let's look for articles that specifically address discharge planning for patients 65 years and over. I'm going to select age, then the 65 years and over, then select show. Now that limit is displayed on our search results page. Once we select it, we'll see a notice at the top of the page that tells us that the limits are applied. When you find a citation you would like to save, you can click the box next to it and then click on the three dots at the top of your search results and select Clipboard. The Clipboard is a temporary storage place for citations. Items in the clipboard will be lost after 8 hours of inactivity or if you close your browser window. You can find the clipboard just below the search bar. Let's take a closer look at our search results. Each of these results is called a record. To view a record in detail, click on the title of an article. At the top, you'll see the article's publication information. To see the full, unabbreviated title of the journal, just hover over it with your mouse. Under that, you have the title of the article, the authors, and below that, the PubMed ID. The PubMed ID is a unique ID number for this article. You can use the PubMed ID to retrieve this record in PubMed at any time. Below that, you have a structured abstract, a brief summary of the article. Use the abstract to decide if this article is relevant to your research topic. Next, we have similar articles. Similar articles are a great way to find additional research on a topic. Click on Show More Similar Articles to see the entire list. Finally, we have MeSH terms. MeSH stands for Medical Subject Headings. MeSH terms are essentially tags that have been applied to this article to tell you what the main themes are. For more information on MeSH, watch the MeSH tutorial. If we scroll up and look at the right side of the page, we'll see the Cite button. Use this to get a formatted citation. The default format is AMA, but we can change that by clicking on Format and selecting APA. Just above the Cite button is an icon that assists you in accessing the full text of the article. Generally, at least two icons are displayed, the icon from the publisher and USF's Full Text Finder icon. Most of the time, you will want to use USF's Full Text Finder icon to access the full text of the article. When you click on the Full Text Finder icon, you'll be presented with a page that tells you whether or not USF provides access to the article. A hyperlink under the Full Text section, like the one we see here, means we do have a subscription. And clicking on this link will take you out of PubMed to another resource, where you'll be able to find the PDF. Let's look at another example. If you click on the Full Text Finder link and don't see a full text, or a full text search option in the page, it is likely we don't have a subscription to the journal. Try the available options starting with a Google search to see if there is a free version online, but don't spend too much time on this. If that doesn't work, 
Your best bet for accessing the article is ordering it through Iliad, our interlibrary loan system. Thank you for watching this introduction to PubMed tutorial. For more information on searching PubMed, watch one of our other PubMed tutorials or contact a librarian.